All right, so with that down and out of the way, we are going to move on to the Mandalorian Season 3 speculation. Because like I said, it's going to be following Boba Fett. So kind of like our, you know, most anticipated of 2021, these are TV series, so we didn't really include them on it. But these these are definitely up there on the list uh, of most anticipated uh, forms of entertainment to be coming out in 2021 for sure. So we're going to get into what we think uh, is going to be happening in Mandalorian Season 3. We're going to wrap up the show with that. So... Firstly, I think that this, with uh, Mandalorian Season 3, I think it was set up pretty much in Mandalorian Season 2. Um, I think that it's primarily at this point going to focus on retaking Mandalore, which is what I kind of assumed was going to happen, and I was kind of hoping they would happen, like do in general when they introduced the Bo-Katan character. I always said that the show should just kind of focus more on the Mandalorian stuff, the Mandalorian lore, because like you could only do the Baby Yoda stuff in the back and forth between the Empire trying to get Baby Yoda or the remnant of the Empire, or whatever. You can only do that for so long before it just becomes tired. And yeah. I mean, kind of like I said, like they, they they did end up just wrapping that up. You know, he he goes on his merry way with Luke Skywalker, and we're left with Din Djarin here with the dark saber, and we got the Bo-Katan dark saber drama going. So I just imagine that they're gonna. That's where it's going to go. I think we're going to see the retaking of Mandalore. But the, the the question really is at this point, who is who even has Mandalore right now? Because the yeah. Empire's fallen. You know, what I mean, like there's like cells of the Empire out there. Like, well, they like, say that planet's cursed too. You know, the Empire basically turned it into glass. I think is what Boba Fett said. Right. Well, that's the thing. Like, because during Clone Wars, it was like sacked by Darth Maul, and then like it had just previously. I forget what it was, but I think it was under some other control. I think maybe just from a rogue Mandalorian clan prior to Darth Maul coming in and taking over Mandalore. Yeah. And then, you know, Bo-Katan ends up getting control back over Mandalore in Rebels. But then now where we're at here, she's lost control of it again and lost the dark saber and somehow. And like, yeah, I don't know. Cause that's another thing too. And I, I brought this up before, like in the Rebels show, Sabine Wren gets the dark saber and just gives it to Bo-Katan and she just willingly takes it from her and says thanks and goes back to Mandalore and starts waving the dark saber around. And Can't do that in the Mandalorian universe. Though. Well, what I think, I think maybe they're going to expand on that more and kind of like, I think in the end they're just ignoring Canon and they just want to like, like a way to like make something be more dramatic and difficult. And, yeah. yeah. And just like something for them to have to do in the show kind of thing. But what they could do to kind of non retcon it is say that she did that and it didn't work. Like that's why she lost control of Mandalore. Like it, it took because like Gideon says like the story is what matters and so, like, she didn't have that story about, like, reclaiming the Dark Blade since it was just well, given to her. Maybe she, it wasn't enough to unite the people of Mandalore, so that's why she lost control. So that's why now she needs to actually win it back through combat, you know, the traditional way or whatever. Maybe they'll expand on it in that way. Maybe they're just straight retconning all of that stuff that happened in the Rebel show. Who knows? Yeah. But I think in the end, will, that's what we're going to be seeing in Mandalorian season three. Do you think we will we see Mando as the new ruler? I, I kind of speculated that before. instead of Bo-Katan. I did speculate that before. I said because I said like uh, like we could be looking at our new leader of the Mandalorians, and we just don't know it yet. It's, I definitely think like because if it, it's kind of like the Star Wars story, I mean, it's like. Bounty hunter comes from nothing, you know, works his way up the ladder. And next thing you know, he's like ruling the entire planet. Kind of like, you know, Luke Skywalker, the farm boy thing. It and is a very tried and true trope. It was the same thing with the, the sequel trilogy. Exactly. So, I mean, it's definitely possible. I mean, the question really is, is like, are we going to see Baby Yoda in season three? Certainly. Are that's we going so. to see Luke Skywalker that's my anymore? Like, that's I, I think we're definitely going to see him. Like, I think that whole line where he says, I'll see you again, like I promise. He's a man I, of his word. Like. Well, I think that's more or less like John Favreau saying to us, like, he'll be back. My question like, is, though. That line was in there just so we know he's going to be back. How's he going to find him? He didn't give him any information. He just took baby Yoda and left. Didn't tell him where he's going. Didn't tell him how to contact him. He's just gone. Yeah. 
No, I, I, I guess I'm 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 trusting or believing the fact that Luke finds them will will be will be sympathetic to what Baby Yoda feels for for Din Djarin and and that we that he will find a way to find Din regardless of what. I mean, I don't know that Din will necessarily be able to find Luke, but well, I mean, Grogu could just send out another. Force beam, force message, yeah. yeah, to but directly to Mando. True, yeah. Sure. I mean, if Luke Skywalker was able to hear him just randomly making a Cooing space call, rambling, I'm sure that with Luke's training, he could probably just force talk to Mando. It's true. Um, so who knows? I mean, I'm sure. I don't know if we'll see him again. I feel like we have to see him again just because people have come just yeah. so accustomed to Grogu being a part of Mandalorian. And like, yeah, he just sells. He, he probably just makes them too much money for them to not bring back into the show. Because they could bring him back in, and now he's wearing like Jedi robes, and boom, you have a ton of new toys that you can sell. It's like, it'd be a huge missed opportunity for Lucasfilm to not bring him back, or at least have a scene of him like training with Luke or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just a merchandising opportunity missed. You're leaving millions on the table. It's true. New toys. When does Mando get the, his Razor Crest back? I mean, his Razor Crest is off, obviously I mean, yeah. toast, and there's, you're not getting that one back. Be interesting. Do you think he gets happens. another one, or does well, he get another ship? I mean, now, right now he's, he's got an imperial. He he's got an imperial cruiser right now. Oh, he's got the light cruiser. But didn't he say that that was the, he he that Bo Katan could have that along with did. the dark saber? I mean, he the only did, thing but... he wanted was Grogu. So, oh, he he did. But I mean, now he's got the dark saber. Do you think Bo <laughs> Katan actually choice. got to listen to him at this point? Yeah. But, but well, mm. but he doesn't want it. So that's yeah. But like, dude, that's that's not how it works. A lot of people <laughs> get the crown that don't want to wear it. That's normally your best. Heavy king. is the head that wears the crown. Sure, but you don't have to take the ship that comes with the crown. No, he, he can, can still get. Still. But he's the one that's in <laughs> need of a ship. Better. You know what I mean? He might yeah. reconsider this and be like, you know what? My ship d did just get blown up. He does have an entire garage, theoretically, though, full of ships right now. You know, like, there could have been ships on there that he could use. Hey, I'm sure there see. is some light cruisers, uh, like, actually on. Because, there's, I mean, I think it was full of TIE fighters. You saw them all. Yeah, the TIE Imperial fighters. shuttle. Like, yeah, so, I mean, the, and the, yeah, the, the, the Lambda cruiser they flew in there on is still there. So, I mean, they could just use that. Like, I, I'm sure he'll get uh, his own ship. I don't know if it's going to be that same model, you know, that the Razor Crest was, but at the same time, I think he's got options right now. Like he's got the Imperial he's got, Light Cruiser. He's, he's got, got stuff to trade. Fighters. Yeah, he's he got, could he's, easily get a new ship. He's got yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. So and a bunch of dark trooper bodies. Yeah, I think <laughs> we're, right now the biggest question is. How and when we'll see Baby Yoda again? I think for a lot of people, because I think it's a given that they're going to do the retaking of Mandalore. Yeah, that's compelling TV in and of itself, and that's why I said when they first introduced Bo Katan, I was like, I just want to watch that show. I just want to watch her going and try to retake Mandalore. That's a much, that's a much cooler, in all honesty, than, as in a concept than a back and forth thing with Baby Yoda and the Empire going on and on and on and on and on. Like that would have. I said that would get tired, and I stick by that being tired. Like, just, I still love Baby Yoda and all that. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I bought that damn thing. Like, it'll be it'll be interesting to see how far ahead in time they jump. Is this? Mm -hmm. it, will the new season pick up with him and Bo Katan on the bridge of the the ship, and they they're trying to yeah. decide after Luke has just left, and they're trying to decide where to go next, or does it pick off? You know, five years down the road, and you know they're they're trying they're in the in the right in the middle of trying to take back Mandalore. Yeah, there's definitely yeah they could definitely do a huge time jump. I don't know. I think that's what we're gonna see though. You, you think yeah. uh you think we will see any more Luke Skywalker? I certainly hope so. <laughs> I mean, I think everybody would hope so. Not, yeah, not I'm with I'm with Rick. Character. I I hope so. I just I don't know. It it, it be it becomes kind of. It becomes tricky for them the more they have him in the show because they weaved him so much into the sequels um, and did such a terrible job of it. Um, it's going to be tricky to fit him into into this series and not eventually get him so 
caught up in it that, that you're left with the same narrative issues that you know like you said with a lot of the stuff when we were talking earlier about wonder woman like narratively why in the world does luke never mention grogu in the sequel trilogy if there's this other powerful yoda-esque being out there that has the same jedi capabilities as him why is he not in any way referenced in the sequel trilogy well, um so the more the more you wrap luke up in this story the more you have to figure out a way to navigate that true yeah i think that's kind of contingent on what how does baby yoda's you know or grogu's story end like what if you know he gets done quote unquote with his training with luke and then luke sends him back to like his home planet and is like that's the next part of your training is like to that'd be an interesting show learn in more about your people and live amongst them and just do your own thing like maybe he comes back with mando and now he's got a jedi with yeah him. like who knows man there's a lot of things they could do with it to not step on the toes of luke but then also it's not really a luke show so i don't really see them like needing to bring luke in i could see them like cutting to baby yoda like chilling and training with luke but then it, you don't even see luke's face you just know it's luke because maybe you see a green lightsaber or something like you know what i mean just so they don't have to do the cgi i don't know like i think more people are concerned <laughs> about the baby yoda stuff than the luke skywalker stuff as far as seeing them again so i don't know yeah do you think we'll ever have baby yoda old enough to where he talks in in yoda <laughs> speak hmm? speaking or do you think, do you the, think it depends on the time jump thing that you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Like how far are they going to advance the timeline? How long is the show going to be around? You know? And how old does baby Yoda need to be in order for him to have the ability to speak the way Yoda did? I mean, you right. think at 50 years old. age 400 or, you know, well, that's the thing too. It what? depends on how they do his aging thing. Cause like, yeah, I think yeah. it does him not speaking right now have more to do with the trauma he went through at the Jedi mm -hmm. order the Jedi temple on Coruscant and everything. Cause it's like, like when he had the conversation with Ahsoka, it was a conversation. Like she could talk to him, Yeah, but like, mm -hmm. he's not audibly talking and like that part of his memory is essentially blocked right now. So that's another question well, too. They're going to expand on that anymore. We're going to learn more about yeah. order 66 time for him and like what actually happened. Like you got to think, dude, he's not even going to be like a hundred years old by the time, like Din Djarin's life is over. Sure. You know, just how I don't think humans necessarily live a super long time in the Star Wars universe. And I mean, he could still be a baby by the time Din's an old man, you know? So well, I mean, that's the thing is the sequel trilogy starts like 30 years from now. Yeah. Like, so who knows? Like, at that point, baby Yoda is only 80 years old. Uh, and what does that mean for his, like, we still don't really know what that means for his race. You know what I mean? Because we yeah. know that like, Yoda at 400 is what he's supposed to be in like the New Republic times. He's a Jedi Knight right now at, when he's 400 years old. So baby Yoda's 80. I mean, I don't know what that means. They, 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 I don't think they thought the timeline thing to through for his aging thing. It doesn't make a lot of sense when you start thinking about it. Well, like somebody, it's a cool sounding thing. He's 50 years old, but he's a baby. But then you're like with baby okay. Yoda's aging process, though, somebody did a comparison with Yoda being 900 when he died. In theory, he would have been like in his late twenties. Yeah, it but he's years. but he's eight hundred years old. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. So like, it's, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like, so, but that's the thing is like they need to just explain and flush that out because so somehow, still to this day, kind of like Boba Fett, Yoda in his species is just something that we just don't know about through all the Star Wars lore and canon and all you know legends, material, everything. Yoda's species is like probably the least known thing mysterious yeah it's just like it's not there so i don't know i think it's kind of thing where they're just kind of they're just making it up as they go along yeah but you've got some good people behind the the, the wheel now so i think i'm sure it'll go yeah i'm not definitely after what happened with mando season two how they were able to bring that down to a very satisfying conclusion uh, I definitely have the utmost faith in dave filoni and john favreau so i'm definitely I'm super hyped for season three. I think it's going to mainly focus on the Mandalorian stuff, uh, like retaking of Mandalore. And it will probably learn how Thrawn is probably involved with controlling Mandalore right now would be my guess. Hey. And that's how it's going to connect in with like Ahsoka's show 
where she's searching for Thrawn. You know, like maybe they'll find some clues during Mando season three while they're retaking Mandalore and where she can find him, pass that information along. Maybe the same kind of concept with the the Rangers show. Maybe they discover some you know imperial you know traffic happening and they learn you know they learn more about thrawn there and then that's what i think that's what's going to happen i think thrawn's going to be the thanos for this their first crossover event that i really at this point they have, they definitely haven't introduced anybody else who could stack up no. like it's just it's not going to happen i mean to be fair thrawn can't even fight ahsoka by himself i mean he's not force sensitive so who knows the other, the other thing that we haven't touched on is the fact that the empire isn't done with baby yoda while while din Djar may have completed his mission to get him back to his people by passing him off to luke i don't think that the empire I, moff gideon was not going to just give him over to mando despite what he said um and, and so he's clearly not done with him so there's still this this element of the empire, the remnants of the empire out there that's yeah. that's hunting, that's hunting baby Yoda, and so I don't know if that's the way that they, if some, if somehow throughout the course of things, Din Djarin picks up on a new attempt to try and get him, and that's what brings him back into contact. Or, we, and we still don't actually know what they wanted with him too. Sure, because like I mean, that we're we're assuming true. it's because of his you know force sensitivity and like because Gideon said whether he was being deceptive or not, that he, he's gotten everything he's need, needed from him. That being the case, if that is, then what is he going to do with it now that they have what they need from him? Because we still don't know. Like, were they going to try to, like, upload midi-chlorians into Gideon's the dark troopers? Like, yeah, and Gideon's still alive. So, I don't know. There's a lot, definitely a lot of things that they could expand upon. Like, I, I'd like to learn more about the, the Order 66 stuff with baby yoda see what actually happened see if a jedi saved him and then maybe a jedi blocked that portion of his memory out like that'd be interesting that's compelling enough because i mean okay kind of with that i don't think they even say that that's like he went through that unless they're going to expand on it more like you know i mean i I feel like they set that up very specifically because they could have just breezed on through they didn't have to say that like, they didn't have to say he was there and this, he went through this already and that his his memory's blocked. Like, that's a very specific thing. So maybe we'll learn more about that. I'd like to learn more about that, but I don't know. I still think Thrawn's probably going to be your big bad, though. That's just where I, I, I don't... Unless they start to introduce some Sith Lords or something. But I just don't know if that's really going to be something that they're, they're going to do. Because, I mean, I guess... Uh... No... Yeah, no, yeah, I don't even know who would be around right now, Sith Lord wise. Which I guess kind of leaves them an opportunity to create new characters if they wanted to go a Sith route. So, but I don't know. I feel like you'd have to go Sith route for us if Ahsoka's around because it's just like kind of overkill, like in a lot of ways. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You guys got anything else that uh, we're missing here? I think I pretty much covered what I'm. What I'm expecting where i'm expecting it to show and or to go rather and then uh some things i'd like to see so i don't know. think you hit the nail on the head yeah i'm just gonna throw one let if if we visit luke training baby yoda mm-hmm. do you think we ever get to the point where we see a young ben solo show up at the at the training facility do we see know. do we see other do we <laughs> see other other people he's training I don't see why we wouldn't. I think it would more or less... I don't know if it would necessarily be like a Ben Solo. because It's possible. Because we know he's trying to like establish a Jedi Order right now. And that's why it made sense for it to be Luke that heard Grogu's call. Because he would be actively searching for Jedi right now. Because he's trying to rebuild a Jedi Order. So it all makes sense. So, I mean, if we do get a like a rocky training montage with Luke and... <laughs> Baby Yoda, maybe Baby Yoda has to carry Luke on his back, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, if we get something like that, I could totally see there being, like, other younglings there. But I just don't know if it'd be needed for the show. If it was, like, a Luke Skywalker show, then I'd be like, then yeah. Or, like, a Jedi Academy show, then yeah. But since it'd be the Mando show, and, like, they're really just there to tell Mando's story, they... 
if they cut back to that, they might just keep it to Luke and Grogu. Or like I said, it might just be Grogu and you see a black hooded figure in the background and we know it's Luke kind of thing. I feel like that's the more likely thing. Because I would love to see a Luke Skywalker training the Jedi. Like the, Je I'd like to see that whole, you know, what made Luke turn into Hermit Luke in Last Jedi. I would like to see them actually explain that to me. Because maybe it would make that character a little bit more compelling. Because yeah. that's the biggest flaw with like what they did with Luke in the sequel they tried, trilogy. They is like they they tried. They showed you. Luke getting a vision of him becoming bad and, and thinking for a second about ending his life and then him Ben Solo waking up. I mean, they showed you all that in flashbacks. It just was trash. That is stupid. Yeah. yeah, that is garbage. If there was more that lead up to that than that actually went into it than that, then I would like to see it. But yeah, you are right. I mean, if that's as I just I just don't. Yeah. I, they cannot redeem, you know, if Luke Skywalker was the type of character that would give up and go live by himself when things got bad, you know, cloud city would have been the end of the, the new the, the resist or the, the rebellion because Luke would have never shown up. He would have been like, ah, I don't know. Things look bad. I'm just going to stay here with Yoda and keep continue training. And well, honestly, and too, if you look him. at it, cause I recently, I just watched rise of Skywalker for the first time since I saw it in theaters. And even in there, they try to retcon the shit because when, because Ray goes to do that, Ray goes to hide after she gets the vision of her being the new Sith Empress, right? But then yep. she throws the lightsaber in the fire, and Luke's Force Ghost catches the damn thing. Yeah. The same lightsaber that he threw over his shoulder, and then he says, like, literally, like, a Jedi's... Like, that's no way to treat a Jedi's weapon. And then, like, she's like, I'm just gonna do what you did. I'm just gonna hide out. And he was like, I was wrong. Yeah. It's just like... Okay. You know what I mean? So it's like even like you're totally right because Luke Skywalker wouldn't have done that. And they even try to like yeah. retcon it in like a way, the best way they kind of can in that in the Rise of Skywalker by having him come back to just say that he was wrong about doing that. But it's like, yeah, like maybe you, I don't know. I've, I've taken this off topic, but yeah, I just, I don't see, I mean, I would love to see a show of Luke training Jedi and, and just as long as that'd be just, great. Yeah. Just disregard that other crap that supposedly happened. If they could wreck, I'm normally all for like if it's canon, it's canon. But like, dude, I'd be all for them saying that that shit was a dream, like it wasn't <laughs> real, like yeah. that was a force vision that Ben Solo had that they've could already, happen. They've already discarded tons of Star Wars continuity when they bought Lucas. So it's true. I would like to see them though have have Ben Solo wake up from a dream. Bring Kyle, bring Adam Driver back just to have a dream sequence and like that whole trilogy was a dream that Ben Solo had, and then like so the, this little mini series picks up with him waking up and then going and talking to Luke and saying like, "Dude, I just had this crazy dream, Uncle Luke," and then that's it, and then we all get to move on. <laughs> and you can do your whole new Sleep sequel better, trilogy dude. and make it. I good. love it. Like I'm totally in my head canon. That's exactly what happened. All that shit's a dream that Ben Solo is having right now. Like none of it's real. We're gonna leave it at that. 